Hello, hello. I'm uh, making dinner for my baby girl. Donna isn't here right now, so we're going to make uh, a cheese waffle. I made a video on that a while back, and I'm going to hand cut some fries. So let's get to it. This is my crinkle knife. Um, it does, seems that uh, Amazon doesn't carry it right now anymore, but I could do chips or I could do long fries. I'm not sure what I'm going to do, so I'm going to do both. A little variety. If this potato was round, more round, I would uh, cut this way and this way, but if I try to do it right now, I don't get a good cut on it, so I'm just going to cut them into long strips. Because I'm cutting these thin, I'm going to need to cut the uh, the shoestring type fries or whatever the McDonald looking fries. Is there a proper name for those? I don't know. Into uh, thinner strips as well. There we go. Nice. Carol! I'm doing fantastic. How are you today? I'm so glad you could join me. I tried to uh, schedule this, but um, the scheduler isn't working on my... It's giving me a hard time, and I'm not sure why. I would have liked to have given everybody like a half an hour heads up or something. That way they could have planned their day around me, right? Um, let's see, I was just saying I cut some chip fries here, and now I'm doing some string fries as well, and I have to cut them thin because the, these are thin, so I want them to cook at the same rate, so I cut them this way. A little bit of funniness going on around here. Let me cut those off and get rid of them. Potatoes aren't that old. I just got them this week, I believe. Yeah, this is great. I have a link in the description uh, for one that's close to it. However, um, it this one here I really like, but uh, it's um, showing up is not available at this time on Amazon. Yeah, there's another style that looks like... Um, I want to call it like a potato masher. Let me show you my potato masher so you get the idea. It looks some, something like this where the blade is here on the base. So you kind of go down on it like that. I don't know if I like that. The biggest problem I find is when you get to the small pieces and you stand them up, it becomes an issue. And you got to admit, it's a cool color, right? Okay, I know you're supposed to soak fries for a half an hour. I'm not going to soak them that long because I don't have that kind of time. I'm just going to rinse them off and then I'm going to pat them dry. There we go. Mr. Kraska, good evening. It's going to be pretty late over there right now. And I apologize, Carol. My memory's not working well. I uh, forget where you said you were from the day before. Uh, was it UK? No, Scotland, maybe. Uh, so many things to remember. <laughs> yeah. So you're, uh, so it's uh, 11, 17, 19, 11, so... Are you from? Yes. Okay. Well, I was somewhat right, right? <laughs> oh, I didn't realize I was cutting my head off. All right. So we'll, uh, okay, yep. I want to make sure I said hello to everybody online. Glad you guys can make it, guys and gals. Uh, uh, 
try to pat these dry. You really want them as dry as possible. Um, but like I said, I'm running a little short on time and resources. Oh, fry down, fry down. All right. I'm almost finished drying these down. Yeah, they don't look too bad, right? Keep dropping those fries, gotta re-rinse them. All right, I think we're good there. It's enough fries for a child and an adult, right? One big potato, or medium-sized potato. And get some oil on there. This is the same brand oil as in my uh, sprayer. Hi, Donna. Aren't you supposed to be eating dinner right now? Okay, I'm gonna put this up a little bit. If I had known, I would have set Natalia up to watch so she could say hi to you. I'm gonna put some uh, pink Himalayan salt on this. Again, this looks like a lot. A lot of this is gonna come off in the cooking process. I could just um, season this up later but I don't want to. Um, so I'm gonna add just a touch of pepper. And I'm gonna make this just like I would my roasted potatoes, just a little bit of granulated garlic. And I got some rosemary leaves here. Someone mentioned to me last time I made fries is, um, to, to use the, the small, <clears throat> use the smaller granules as I choke, as I'm trying to explain, because you could choke. But people with uh, smaller throats, this sometimes tends to get stuck in people's throats. So uh, she made that as a comment, but uh, I'm not going to buy any of that until I run out of my old one, because I'm running short on space for, well, everything, but also for putting that stuff out. I should have turned on the air fryer to get it ready. And why don't I do that? Get that going at 400. At least I can get that preheated somewhat. Dan, how are you, buddy? Glad you can make it. Just uh, explaining my uh, fries here. I'm gonna tighten up this uh, piece here. Uh, you have some hand cut fries. Um, I didn't get to soak them, you know, because you just should soak them for half an hour, so I just rinsed them good. I got some uh, pink Himalayan salt, some uh, ground black pepper, and uh, some granulated garlic, and some rosemary. So I'm kind of making them like roasted potatoes. Not for nothing, roasted potatoes are awesome. Um, so I'm just making sure this is nice. And ground up and while I'm at it I am also gonna power up my presto flip because we are making cheese waffles after all and that will take a little bit to heat up and as you can may or may not see the little red lights on when that light goes out it's ready all right so I only got to heat up for a few seconds, right? That's all right. Pull this out. I got the Rachel Ray um, silicone rings in there. I am going to spray this down a little because the potatoes do stick. No way around it. Dump these in there. Let's see if I can't uh, spread those out a little bit. You can see those right there. I'm trying to avoid washing my hands every five minutes. All right, that doesn't look too bad. I'm gonna start these up to go for 10 minutes. I'll check them, they're kind of thin actually. So why don't I check them in eight? I'm gonna set my microwave timer for eight minutes um, for that. Damn, I was getting ready for dinner. I wanted to pop in. We'll finish video tonight, have a good night. Yeah, is it is it common to have dinner late? Um, 
Dan, this late. Oh, wait a minute. I, or am I thinking you're from the other side? Uh, see, here's another one. I'm forgetting where someone's from. Thank you very much, and uh, I hope to uh, see you later on. Hey, Janet. Nice to have you back. I uh, got the fries in there. I don't know. Can someone tell me if they can actually go back to the video to the beginning? I'm kind of curious. It should let you scroll back because I do allow it. Um, so if anybody can just let me know, I'd appreciate it. Oop. Working, then getting home cooking. Yeah, I'm from... Oh, I'm from Mass too. Dan, why did I think you were from Mass? I don't know. I apologize about that. I'll make a mental note of it for next time. Take care. Thanks for stopping by. So I have the fries in there. I got an eight-minute timer going. Uh, while that's happening, I got to get ready. I have to grab a new loaf of bread here. Honey wheat. And these come in a two-pack from none other than BJ's. Now remember, somebody, and I won't name names, is supposed to ring a bell every time I mention BJ's or Go Eyes or something like that. this way okay Let's get the butter knife here <coughs> so these slices of cheese they cut up this time at the uh, deli are thin so I'm gonna use two pieces so rather than her have basically have two pieces of bread with a little bit of dairy in it there's a little more I'll probably also make some broccoli off camera. I already bored you with that yesterday. I'm not going to bore you with that again today. Um, now, I used to make these in a frying pan, not in general, you know, just cook them one side, put the cheese on, flip it. But what I've been doing lately, I'll call it the lazy, everything I do is I call it the lazy man something. I will call it the lazy man um, uh, grilled cheese. I'll put it in the, the toaster oven, all assembled. And it does a fairly decent job. Just gotta watch out for the butter on the bottom because it kind of makes a mess on the bottom piece of bread. Uh, Carol, I'm gonna get off Mario, almost bedtime, night night. Hey, thanks Carol, I appreciate you uh, stopping in. I'll try to start this earlier next time so you can uh, enjoy. I hope to see you late next time around. That's all buttered up. Okay, if you notice here, the light is now off. And this is the cool thing about the flip I mentioned. This is how you install a position. You flip down this handle, you know, you put in the batter, and then at halfway through, you flip it over, but it stores great. Um, since this has butter on it, I don't think I really need to spray it, so I'm just gonna pop it on give it a nice good squeeze there and I'm gonna set the little timer here it's not this doesn't power up and down it's just a little battery operated timer I'm gonna set it for two minutes and see how we look at that point Thanks again, Carol. Appreciate it. All right, so we're having that heat up. Let's see here. We have five people on. One of them is me, so that means four are here. Uh, possibly Mr. Krasker and Janet, maybe, I'm guessing. And then Donna, that's three. Someone's hiding out there. Okay. Um, Back a little bit. In three more minutes for fries. I'm just going to take a little peek. Yep, they're bubbling up. 
there was a slight little beep. You might have heard that. That goes to the Presto Flip. When there's a minute left, it beeps, just to warn you. And, uh, you know, you could cut the uh, cheese waffle with a, a knife, butter knife. I like to use my overly expensive Pampered Chef pizza cutter. Works great. Don't like to burn it, cook it too much with the crisp edges because she doesn't care for the crisp edges, so I like to make it. Plus, if you cook it too much, the cheese almost evaporates, I want to say. I don't know how else to word it, so I'd rather have the cheese still in there. But I don't want it so undone that she doesn't enjoy it. You know? Okay, five seconds left, let's take a look. That doesn't look too bad. I'm gonna leave it in there for 10, 15 more seconds. In fact, I'll unplug it right now. No need to leave it plugged in, that's a waste. And my phone is freaking out because the selfie stick is so spring-loaded that it keeps hitting the power button the uh, volume and power button I should say maybe that's part of my problems here okay I think we're good now let's get this off here into a plate hot, hot, hot. now I'm putting this in the upward position and that's going to do two things I mean I could leave it open to cool down but this is going to let all the oils drip down and make a mess on the stove and I'll wipe the stove off later all right uh, see the cheese was leaking out that's all right I did put two slices in If any of you are interested in looking at this cheese, while, uh, this it's in my description. It's the Presto Flip. Um, I also have the Presto Bowl Maker in there. Uh, show of hands, who was on last night's with the uh, with the uh, dessert? I know who was on there, but I'm curious if anybody's going to raise their hand. A um, friend of ours made a mention. She says, "Oh, I'm not big on pizzellas, but." She started throwing some ideas out there, like boom, and she was like, brownies. How awesome is that idea? A brownie bowl that's still warm with ice cream in it. And this is what you need right here. Now everything's all fancy laid out there. Now I'll rinse my hands quick. Let's uh, do my usual. Gonna take a couple of pictures for sake of uh, the fans who want to see this on Instagram. I'm just having a problem with my phone here. It's not cooperating. My not my personal phone, but my work phone. That's what I'm using to take pictures with. Unfortunately, it's not bright enough. Let me shift this back. I really got to get those other lights set up here. Okay. And the final touch. We'll use our butter knife to pop the top off the syrup. Not much left. So I'm going to have to make a trip. And we're just going to drizzle it like this. I probably put a little too much on there. I wanted to make it look a little fancy like yesterday's ice cream, but as you can see, it just all blobbed around everywhere. Okay, let's check those fries quick. They've been in there for a little bit. Okay, you see they're looking good there. I need to mix them around some. And they didn't stick, so that's a good thing. You see that? Those look nice. Very nice. See if I can get it in a single stack without burning myself. And we'll get those back in. 
And let's see where it says the time is right now for this left. It says 11 minutes. I think I had set this for 20. So I'm going to move this down to uh, 5 minutes and we'll see how it looks at that time. Natalia, your cheese waffle is ready. I don't know if you can hear her. She's cheering. She loves her cheese waffle. <laughs> go get a fork for yourself. Yeah, I know. It's terrible. You have to go get a fork. And then come back and I'll get you some milk, okay? Come on. Okay. All right. <laughs> come back for your milk in a minute. fork in your hand now. Pointing up at you. You see me okay? Yeah, I think so. Pretty much. So we got uh, a couple minutes left on the fries. The presto's cooling down. We'll, uh, Clean up some of this other mess here. Get myself a refill of water. Spent two more minutes since I put it in back in. I'm gonna take a look at it quick. Yeah, they're looking nice. Hopefully, you can see that. Uh, leave them in there a couple more minutes. I'm gonna pull out one of the fries. Hot, hot, hot. There's my little fry. But it's cooked enough fine now, but... It tastes more like roasted potato than fry, but I love roasted potatoes. And Natalia, she doesn't know the difference. Kids will see french fries and, you know, whatever. They won't eat vegetable. You give them those veggie fries, it's fries. What did you say about me? I didn't say anything. Everybody's being shy on tonight. No one's talking. All right. I'm going to get myself a plate here, get ready for the fries. How you doing over there, Poopy? in there longer. While that's uh, going, I don't know if anybody wants to share anything with it from, any newbies that may be on that uh, haven't said anything yet. Let's see if Donna is still there. <clears throat> 
So, um, I made a decision on the live streams. They're a lot of fun. They're really interactive. But I've been uh, doing, I've done 10 in like a week, if, it, if it's even been a week. I think what I'm going to do, and I'll kind of look for feedback from everybody, is that I'm going to cut the live streams down to one every week or one every two weeks. And I want to get back to my short videos. You know, it'll be a lot more work on my part to edit and post it. But I think um, that's probably what the majority of people want. But I like the live interaction that I get from the live stream. And uh, it's good to get ideas because you don't always get ideas. Uh, people say, oh, that's great. That looks, you know, wonderful, yada, yada. And you do get a few ideas. But having the live chat and people interact, I think they feel that they have a word and say in what I can do. And I have taken those suggestions and then work with them. So let's take uh, one more look at the fries. They've been in there three minutes more. So this would be a total of maybe 15 minutes. Yeah. Let's see that. All right. Let's do the, uh, the uh, required pitcher. Toss these on the plate. Actually, I don't want to toss it completely over because it might end up getting all the oil. I'm sure I just blasted out someone's ear. I don't want to dump oil in there. Don't forget to unplug your air fryer, folks. In this case, it's unplug the air fryer and plug back in the Breville. And I found that the flip iron is still very hot, hot, hot. All right, let's get some uh, ketchup on here. Now, don't get me wrong. I can eat this whole plate without ketchup and be completely satisfied. However, I'm not the only one who's going to eat this. Yes, it's a lot of ketchup, but that's okay. How you doing over there? Good. All right. Oh, I can bring this a lot closer now. Hold on. Now you can see me really close. So first I'm gonna try one of these uh, chips. This is a crispy one. Let me try one without the ketchup. And it's still soft inside. Not that there'll be any difference, but now I'll try fry. Daddy, can I have more syrup? Yes, you may. Try some ketchup. These are really good. The princess wants some more syrup. Not a princess. No. I'm a butterfly. Yeah. You're a butterfly? Yeah. All right. Are you eating just the syrup? No. No? Okay. Thank you. Oh, hey, David. I'm sorry I didn't see you. We need to know what time so I don't miss them. Um, oh, today's a bad memory day for me. Uh, Dave, what time's only going? How many hours? You're probably going to want a good look at these fries then. Hand cut those. I did half uh, crinkle and half uh, chip. And I'm a slob. Florida. All right, so you're in the same, same time zone. So lunch I was doing noon by firing some of the podcast, the live, live YouTubes I do. They're from the UK as well. And they do their podcast at noon. So I ran into a thing where I want to watch theirs. And uh, I had to uh, go stringy. And I had to uh, 
you know, figure that out. So I started mine at noon. So usually I'm going to do it no earlier than noon, as late as 2 o'clock. But um, what, what, what times work good? Because uh, you're kind of in line where it would work for both you and UK, you know, on their time time slots. 12, 1 o'clock works good for them as well because it's you no know, after hours over there. Um, lunch today was a kind of a rehash. I did the pork chops. Um, I don't know if I've ever done the pork chops live. Yes, I did. I did a lunch pork chop. But I did pork chops again with the Creole seasoning. Well, you, you probably saw the title. And uh, I don't know. I think there was only one person at one point on. So I think I just caught everybody at a bad time. I appreciate that, David. Appreciate it a lot. I'm waiting for YouTube to tell me I'm okay again. I cannot eat all these because I gotta give some to her. Natalia? Yeah. You want some French fries? Yes. Bring the plate over here and I'll give it to you. Um, Janet, where were you? Oh, okay. I got you, Janet. I had to read back. You said, so did I. And I had to think for a second what you were replying to. Baby girl needs ketchup. You know what the fee is for ketchup? Kitty. <laughs> And I'm going to steal a french fry. I'll bring your milk over. <laughs> How rude. I don't think anyone answered. Could someone let me know? Yeah, Creole is pretty good. I was told it's a little too on the spicy side, but I didn't find that myself. I did put a little too much at noon time, but it didn't really bother me. It didn't bother me. Um, can someone, I had asked earlier, see if you can, uh, we're live right now, see if you can go back five minutes, see if it'll allow you. Then you can just click the live button again, and it'll bring you up to the spot. I'm just curious if you can go backwards. I always set it to do that, but I don't know if it actually works. I was just saying to myself, self, why am I still hungry? And then I just realized I didn't eat. <laughs> oh, silly me. Silly, silly me. So I'm going to take this. Uh... You are not. A... All right, I'll look into that. Are you trying to make me feel bad, Dave? Yeah. I don't need the ketchup. When I eat french fries, I don't need ketchup. The only thing I put ketchup on these days is a burger. Alright. Um, I'm going to see if I can do it. Yeah, it's not letting me go back. Uh, and I'm going to have to read into it because there is a button. And by default it's set allow people to go back. I appreciate that. My sodium intake is a lot less than it was back in uh, August, last August. Yes, I do use salt. However, when I worked in Boston, I was eating out every day. And 
when I had the opportunity to work from home, because I've worked there 20 years, I've been cooking my lunch every day. So all the processed foods and whatever, who knows what they're putting in downtown Boston, all the cold cuts, I used to have a cold cut a sub, Italian sub, once a week. Maybe I have a cold cut sub once a month, once every two months. If Donna's still on, she'll chime in because usually she goes and grabs it for me. So maybe once every couple months I have a cold cut sub and that's all processed meats, you know. I did buy the no salt and the Mrs. Dash. The Mrs. Dash wasn't bad. No salt. I couldn't taste anything. So maybe the no salt requires a lot more just to get that whatever flavor it's supposed to taste like. Moderation. And when I ate out in Boston, I did a, like chicken kebab platter. So, you know, it had salad, the chicken kebab, and usually rice. Um, a tuna sandwich, uh, once in a blue, blue moon, maybe chicken salad, um, different types of chicken usually, because that's what I like, and, you know, red meat isn't good for you, you know, for me anyway, for, as from a cholesterol standpoint, so, usually, during the colder weather, I rarely, very rarely have red meat. Uh, when the summertime comes around and you're going to barbecues and stuff, well, that's all out the window, you know what I mean? My one true, my one true weakness is bread. Um, I like a good, uh, sub roll, you know, with a sandwich or something. Uh, bonus favorite. Do you drop that? Mm, you can have it. Well, your interface is very dirty. So, go wash it. Okay? Still eating. Oh, okay. She left me a fry. How nice. Okay, well. That's all I got for you, but I do want to show you the quick clean of the presto flip. Um, are you asking uh, when I'm going to do another? Soon. Um, I want to do that donut shaped burger with the onion inside and the cheese. I realized they weren't using chunks of cheese. They were using shredded so I'm gonna have to go I don't have a cheese shredder well, I thought I had one I can't find it so I'm gonna have to go buy some shredded cheddar to put inside that before I make it and I'll probably make one in the air fryer and I'll make one outside I don't know if that'll happen on the same day or not yeah definitely gonna do it I got the onions and I have to figure out if I'm gonna cut that cheese up into little blocks Little, I mean, pieces, or buy just buy some shredded ones, or buy a cheese shredder, right? Um, and now I'm gonna do that. I'll post a picture that someone sent me, uh, that I'm mocking it after. Um, uh, we'll go to that now. As far as the air, I mean, the flip goes once it's drained, I uh lower the red nozzle and I come in and I wipe it all around. Now, this is when it's been sitting for a couple of hours because everything kind of drains down in there. And then I wipe the whole bottom down. Now, this isn't ready. I was just giving you a quick show. And if you want, you can uh, get in all the nooks and crannies there. Then you flip this red lever up, and it stays put. It's amazing that 40 minutes already went by. I'm sure you guys feel it. Guys and girls feel it. I don't, because I'm just talking and moving. This video, if I had made it, might have been 15 minutes very tops, you know. So uh, I appreciate that. Buy a cheese shredder. Yeah, so I thought I had one. I can't find it. So it either got put somewhere else. I thought it was up in this cabinet. And uh, it's not there. So you know, I could buy a simple one, just the flat ones that you can just stick anywhere or just buy the cone. I think the flat one I can stick anywhere is probably going to be fine for me. 
Maybe I'll find one at the dollar store or something, you know. Okay. All right. Uh, another 10 seconds if anybody's got any questions about what I did today or suggestions of what they want to see me do. Is that what you want to see, Dave? More, um, more grill stuff? Because uh, for grilling, um, I do burgers, dogs, steaks, pork chops, chicken wings. And when I do the chicken wings, I cook them on the grill, and then I baste them at the end. And I think you were on the call to caramelize whatever the whatever dip. So that's what I do. Usually I do it with uh, chicken breast. Though I do wings too, but usually chicken breast. Anything on the grill, I can do anything. I will do that. Um, I'll have to figure out if I'm going to do a live session with that or if I'm going to pre-record it. If I pre-record it, it's probably going to be another week or two before I get it out because uh, just the time constraints with doing the video editing uh, on, my, on, on time. I stay up late when I do it. Sometimes midnight, past midnight, you know, depending. My new machine processes it much faster. Before, when I had a 15-minute video, it would take um, three times that to just, uh, you know, process the video and then when I export it it would take twice that my new machine now takes less than the t less, less than the length of the video to do all that so uh, you know that's that's good I don't have to sit there you know an hour and wait for it all right anyway um, I'd like to say thank you for joining me Janet David and uh, I believe I want to see Janet. yeah I do too I I you know, I started this back in 2009 with a 27 second video. And uh, when I had 10 views, I was like, oh, that's awesome. That's like my biggest video, 36,000 views. Uh, not my biggest. I think my fries, my three ways to cook fries in New Hope, the first uh, air fry video was the biggest. But I was amazed and I had like a subscriber, that's great. And when YouTube demonetized me back and I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. It's not about the money. I made pennies, okay? However, I only had like a 200 subs. As soon as YouTube demonetized me, I started pushing forward with making those videos, try to shorten them up and make them more interesting, well, interesting for me anyway. And I was gaining anywhere from 160 to 200 to 196 subscribers a month. Now, if every new video I put out, I was losing my old subs because some people came by because I do did some reviews on router tables and inserts and stuff like that. So I'm kind of torn. So I'm hoping that the people who subscribe for the food videos won't get discouraged and unsubscribe when I post a video of, hey, I'm making this jewelry box or, hey, I'm, you know, fixing my uh, pressure washer, which I haven't put that video out because I broke my pressure washer. When I fixed my snowblower, I did that because I, uh, I do lose anywhere from 10 to 30 subs a month, but I gain back more than that. So I'm just hoping it slowly grows. The fact that I'm at 1,200 subscribers right now, or just just 1,211, I think, I'm my boggles my mind. I was at 200 back in March, February, March. So this is awesome for me. I'm just like, wow, you know. And maybe maybe in a couple of years I'll say I can't believe I'm at 10,000 subscribers, and then go from there. You know what I mean? But I want to. I was considering splitting my channel, but I think I'm at the point now where I I I, I would have to leave this the food channel and then come out with a separate channel for my. Uh, tool my other videos but uh i guess this could be my homestead type channel you know that i do everything and hope that you know i keep the audience coming back um anything i want to see a channel oh, thanks my thank you janet i appreciate that we'll see you soon um and david again thank you for the kind words and i know there's someone else on there mr crasker i'm not sure if you're still there let me see the subscriber list it says I got five people there, so there's three people there. There's one other person, maybe three people. But anyway, again, uh, thank you very much. Uh, have a great day, great night, wherever you are watching this. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell so you know when I'm putting out these videos and these live streams. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot. Take care.